God, the human experience is broken. Every day I pass thousands of cars hosting thousands of people, thousands of broken people, most heading to work a job that is absolutely unfulfilling to pay a bill that is most likely past due. Who would have thought that in a time where people are the most accessible, face-to-face -face connection would become a rarity? And who would have thought that in a time where freedom is at its highest, people can still feel so entrapped? So I took a week off because despite my first world problem being a middle-class citizen, I am still drenched in privilege. So much privilege, I managed to escape the chokehold of modern day technology and immerse myself in just living on a boat in the middle of the sea for eight days. No one talks about how vacationing is a whole new world. No one is bound to the expectations and responsibility of real life. For one second, you get a glimpse of what elements truly define the human experience. And if you happen to have the right amount of money, you can experience freedom and all the joy it brings. Adult life hits different and as a result, so do vacations. Here are a few aspects of vacation I'd recommend clinging on to in those three to four days for the rest of my life. First and foremost, the stillness. Now don't get me wrong, those very first moments of travel fill me with anxiety and frustration. But that very moment you unpack the luggage that feels like a sack of rocks, there is a release of serotonin that signals you are free for the next few days. Free of deadlines, free of stress, free of attitudes and opinions, free of responsibility. With that new layer of freedom comes the ability to sit completely still. Listen, feel, smell. Take one of those deep breaths you're always hearing about. Eating is not a task in this realm. It's an experience laced with intricate detail meant to be found and embraced. Secondly, enjoy being the observer versus the observed. For a fraction of time, you get a glimpse of just how big the world is. Language barriers now become your biggest challenge, yet connections are still easily made. You place your utmost trust in strangers to navigate you to places you could only imagine. Laughter becomes the universal language exchanged and soon you find comfort in the presence of people you'll never see again. Taking in views of crystal clear waters or hilltops covered in greenery feels surreal. And I can't shake the feeling that God intended for this life. These picturesque views, this feeling of connectedness and wholeness to be shared, not exclusive. Thirdly, the element of mystery. Nobody knows you. Nobody cares about half the things you stress about. For a limited time, you can be whoever or whatever feels authentic in the moment. Life can seem stained by seriousness. Everyone wants to be taken serious to some degree. Everyone is wrapped up in this practice of mirroring a facade which imitates a doctored reality. On vacation, you have the ability to escape ego. What a beautiful thing to detach from ego. Imagine defining yourself without the influence of what the world thinks. Or imagine not feeling the pressure to define yourself at all. Vacation is over and I'm back in the swing of things planning on my next escape. I once heard someone say they created a life that didn't need vacationing from. As of now, I can't afford a boat to take me around the world and I don't possess the resources to hire a staff to wait on me hand and foot. But I can be conscious of how I want to spend my time here on earth. I want to be intentional about taking in the beauty of my circumstance. I want to ground myself in stillness so I can take full advantage of all 24 hours. I want to allow my most vulnerable self a chance to develop into who she truly is. And I want to challenge the depth of human connection by investing in my personal relationships while also giving strangers the space to feel warmth or kindness in the presence of a stranger. Moments like these will remain ingrained in my mind forever. And though I'll never have all the answers to all of my questions, I feel like this was a good start. Until next time, love you.
you play for, I know you like. I can make you a celebrity overnight. Thank you.